Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. Hello. Since taking up post in January of this year, this is my first opportunity as Chief Exec of Belfast Trust to speak to you openly about Muckamore Abbey Hospital. So I want to put on record my deep sense of shame and profound regret that this happened within the Belfast Trust. Some of the most vulnerable who were entrusted to our care were maltreated and harmed. And for that, I am truly sorry. We failed these patients, we failed their families, and we betrayed their trust. Today, I pledge my commitment and that of our senior management team that we will tirelessly work to ensure that Muckamore Abbey Hospital is a safe place for our patients. We need to rebuild trust and confidence. And I do not underestimate this challenge. And this will be difficult given the scale of the hurt we have caused. The CCTV has given a voice to patients and tells their story that they could not tell themselves. How an organisation cares for their most vulnerable determines who we are and what we stand for. And that is a responsibility of everyone who works here. Muckamore Abbey is a different place today. It is much safer. It is still not perfect. Incidents do still happen and will happen. But I am confident that with the systems and the checking that we have in place, including ongoing monitoring of CCTV and the new management team who are nurturing a different culture, these incidents will be detected promptly and will not be allowed to perpetuate on scene. Thank you. Fuck off. Well, this is the culmination of many years planning uh, to develop a, a, an acute mental health inpatient unit for the population of Belfast. We've had mental health provided across three sites in Belfast, at Upracken Healthcare Park, uh, the Matter Hospital, and previously on the Windsor House site on the Belfast City Hospital. We're now reproviding all, all of our acute inpatient beds on one site. This is a modern state-of-the-art mental health facility uh, uh, designed to provide an environment that is fit for purpose for patients with the most severe mental illness. This modern facility will have single room ensuite facilities. Uh, we will have uh, wards designed around gardens, bright open spaces. This will be a facility that will promote recovery for people with the most severe and enduring mental illness. We've had significant input from service users and their carers. We've looked at uh, examples across the United Kingdom and further afield of modern facilities. Uh, and we are delighted with what we have, the end product that we have now. As part of the, 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 the planning for this, we commissioned uh, designers 
who had experience in developing modern inpatient facilities. Or we had award-winning architects employed. Well, the treatment of mental illness has changed significantly in the past 20 years. We now pride ourselves on being recovery focused and being able to deliver the vast majority of our treatments in a community setting. There is still, however, a group of patients who, because of the nature of their illness and the severity of their illness, will require treatment at various times of their life in an inpatient setting. And we believe that this new unit, which is state of the art and which is very much focused on. <laughs> How about it, you creep, you lunatics, mental defective? Let's hear it for Bull Goose Randall back in action. Nice shirt, Chesaroo. <laughs> Look at the faces on you. Look at you. <laughs> the Thieves Brigade, you gingalings. <laughs> the Mental Defective League in formation. <laughs> if you don't like what we tell you to believe in, we'll kill you.